All right, so in this video, I will be demonstrating how to use the JMMB money line. All right, and I will be doing that by actually purchasing some JMMB stock using JMMB money line. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving you the reasoning why it is a good time to place a bet on the JMMB shares. All right, so let's just get right into it. All right, so first you'll need to log on to your Moneyline account. So you just need to go to Google, then you type in the JMMB, JMMB. All right, and that will take you to the JMMB link, JMMB group, Jamaica link, you click on that. And then you're at the JMMB homepage. All right. So what you want to do is uh, log into your account. And I'm assuming that you actually have an online account or a money line account with JMMB. All right. So you just click on the money line login. All right, so here, here are a couple of options. All right, so you see where they're asking you if you want to go over to the bank side. Are you a Jamaican citizen? If you want the Jamaican bank or Trinidad and Tobago bank or the Dominica bank. All right, but we, are, we want to do investment. All right, so you click on the first link. That is JMMB Investment Jamaica because you want to go into your equity account. All right. And that's your account from which you buy shares, you buy stock on the stock market. All right. And that's different from the bank aspect of the company. All right. So you click on to the investment link. And now they're asking you again are your corporation? So you want a corporate money line or the personal money line. All right, so you go on the personal money line. So you click on that. All right, so now they're asking you for your personal information, like your username and your password. All right, so let me just quickly enter those. Here they're asking you for what? Some security. Security question. All right, so after answering the security question, you're now on the home page of your personal money line. All right. And there are a couple of tabs. You can see the home page transaction, and there's a free tab, a jot down tab relating to the transaction information other service my profile contact help we'll go into the other service all right and the other service of drop down tab of pension query um view stock orders view stock portfolio report stock market summary you'll go into view stock orders this is one way of of going right to the link where you can purchase stocks, all right? There are other ways you can do it. Actually, this is the first time that I'm using this direction. Normally, I just go right into my account and do the purchase. There's a link there. All right, so here now we see a couple of tabs. You have the purchase equity stock link or you can sell equity or you can view stock market summary all right so let us just go and stock market summary for a few to see what it entails all right so what i'm seeing here is the market activity as of tuesday march 24 2022 all right and it's 11 14. so this is showing you this is similar to the queue that you will see if you go on your JTrader Pro. 
all right? So what JMMB is showing you currently is the movement in, the, in all of the stock prices on the Jamaica Stock Exchange currently as of, and it's a real time, and it's real time, all right? But what they do is to show you the best bet and the best ask for each stock. So currently, this is access financial service, open status that tells us that the market is open and the open price is $20.29, all right? There's a reference price of $20.29. Now the bid, you see the bid quantity. So somebody's bidding to buy access at $20 and the quantity amount is 4,445 units, all right? You can also see the ask. Somebody is willing to sell 3,274 units at $20.80. All right. And for today, the stock is actually up 2.51%. Um, and that's a 51 cent on the opening price. All right. But right here now, you see the, this blue line that I'm clicking on, this blue tab that says buy stock. You can just click on that and it will take you to your account where you can purchase from there. All right, so currently I'm actually in my equity account. All right, and if you have more than one equity account, you'll just click on this down tab and choose the equity account from which you want to buy your shares. All right, so I just have one, one equity account. All right, so the account type is equity money market fund. That is your MR account, all right? The available balance, it tells you the amount of money you have in the account, the amount of cash, all right? So currently I have $32,501.18 in the account. That's as cash, all right? So the trading balance, the trading balance tells you the amount of cash that is available to you, all right? So all of my cash is available, so I can use all of that to purchase shares, all right? So select stock symbol. This is a list of company. Below here is a list of company that is on the Jamaica Stock Exchange site. And you'll scroll down to the company that you want to buy and do the purchase, all right? But first, these two tabs tell you which one of the exchanges, as you can see, the, Jama the JSE that tells you, I think that's the main market and then the junior market. All right, let me see. You can just click on each and see. All right, so this is giving you some, okay, this is, this tab is giving you all of the shares, both main market and junior market. But if you click on the junior market, I think you only get junior market companies. All right, so the JSE tab that we're clicking on gives you all of the shares. Or you're supposed to give it just the main market shares. Let me see. All right, so it's just the main market shares that you'll see on the JSE tab. But if it's a junior market company you want to buy, you would have clicked on the junior market tab. And then you see all of the junior market companies from the access finance to the AMG packaging and PFO to Blue Power. All right, so JMMB is a stock that we want to buy today. And JMMB is a main market stock. So let's just click back on the main market tab. All right, so here we go. So you have one, three, eight student living and the stocks are listed in alphabetical order. All right, so what you need to do is just scroll down to the stock. So let's see the ticker or the name of the stock that you're interested in. All right. So here we are at J. And we're looking for JMMB, that's JDG, Jamaica Boilers. 
the JMMB is supposed to be below that. So if you look on your screen, you see where there are a lot, JMMB have a lot of preference shares that are listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, but it's the ordinary shares that we want to buy. All right. And here it is, JMMB, JMMB Group Limited. So this is a share that we want to buy. All right, so currently you can see that I have some shares already. So I have 21,955 shares. And if you look across, this is given the price of the shares as of today's date. All right, so the shares are selling for $41.72. That's the price. All right, so I'll just click on this. All right, so this is what I like with the JMB money line. When you're buying shares, what they do is I just click on the JMB tab to purchase the shares. And if you look on the right hand side, which wasn't there, you see where they, they bring up the orders, like the queue, what is currently the queue of people wanting to buy and sell the stock, all right? And it gives you a market summary of the stock. All right, so the market summary, as of 11.20 a.m. today, the 24th of March, all right, 2022. All right, so the last traded price, they are telling you the price at which it was last traded, which was $41.73. And the reference price is $41.72. I think that's the average, but the high, it's forty-two dollars and fifty cents. So it actually traded at forty-two dollars and fifty cents today, and the low was forty-one dollar. All right, so it traded between that range for today. All right, forty-two dollars and fifty cents and forty-one dollar. But the number of trade was twenty-two, and the volume of trade is eighty-six thousand nine hundred and ninety-two shares. All right. And there's a change in price of two, um, 20, 22 cents, which is on the upside. All right. And this is the buy queue. So the buy order, persons wanting to buy 656 shares, our number of shares at part of $1.73. And 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 I should just big up the screen. Never realized I could zoom in somewhere. All right. So as you can see, that's a market summary that we just looked at. Just look at the market summary. And no, we are looking at the buy order and the sell order. So it is giving you the the four um best buy and the four best sell. All right. And the best buy means the highest price that people are willing to pay for. And the best sell means the lowest price that people are willing to sell for. All right, so I'm looking to buy into the share. All right, so people are willing to buy at $41.72. All right, so I, can, I will know what I want to know, enter the queue. So what I can do is to enter the queue above what what is already there all right so i can put in a better buy order than this part one dollar and 73 cents all right and my my order will be on top of the queue all right because order goes by the time and it also goes by the price that you're willing to pay but the price trumps the time all right so for instance if you had somebody has the same price, all right? If you and somebody have the same price, you want to buy at the same price, then the person that puts in the order first will be served first. So their price will go on top, their order will go on top, all right? But as I said, price trumps time. So if you should want to buy at a lower price, I mean, at a higher price than the last person that, that, that puts in the order, then your price, your order will go on top because you're buying at a better price, all right? So 
So I have to decide now what I want to do. The price that I want to go in at. All right. So the share traded at a high of $42.50. And no persons are willing to sell at $42.30. All right. So what I'll do is just to put in an order that beats the current order that is there, the current buy order that is there. However, I will not choose to buy at $42.30. I want to buy below that. All right. So I put in an order for $42. So the $42 order will go above, will be the first order. So it will go above the $41.70. However, it will not make a purchase immediately because nobody is selling at $42. All right. But hopefully for the day, it will be filled. All right. So let me just continue. So you come down here and you press continue. All right, so this is the, the, the actual order page. So you will have to put in the order now, the amount of quantity that you want to buy and the volume. All right, so the quantity and the value, and I think you can substitute each. All right, so there is what? I have $32 and $32,500. And I want to buy at, I want to buy at 42. So let me just work that out to see the amount of quantity that I can buy at. And you always want to buy and leave some money in, in your cash because you cannot use all the money to buy because there is fees that should be charged. So you must calculate fees in your calculation. All right. So let me buy 30,000 then. 30,000 units at $42 per year. What am I doing? All right, so 30,000 units divided by 42, that can give you 714 units. All right, so what I did was to leave a $2,000 as the margin for them to take out the fees. All right, so I will put in an order for 714, 714. So I'll put in an order for 714 shares. All right, so they have other type market or do you want to limit the price? All right, now, as I said before, I want it at $2 and no higher than $2. So what that means, I'm putting a limit on the price that I'm willing to pay for the stock, all right? Now, if you're not willing to put a price on it, like you want to just buy it at any price the market is going for, all right, you can just put in a market order, but that is very risky as the market fluctuates. All right, so for instance, the price increased to $50. They might fill your order at $50 because that's a market at the time and it's a market order that you put in. All right, so in order to save yourself from that risk, you want to limit the, the order price. So you want to place a limit price. So I'm saying, do not buy above $2, um, $42. Buy anywhere below $42, but not above $42. But the disadvantage of this is that you might not get the order filled today or ever, all right? So the market order, the market price order is a better fill. But the risk is that you can buy at a higher price than you're willing to pay for the stock. All right, and the limit order takes longer to fill, but you get the stock at a, a good price. So I'm willing to pay a $42 for the stock. And then they're asking, you know, time in force. All right, so you'll have to put a time. 
you have good until a certain date. You can change the date to deal with it how you want to. You have good until a month, good until a week, or it can be a day order. Now the day order is saying, if you do not get the order filled today, the order cancels and you have access to the money to use it again come tomorrow. All right. But if, you, if it's a week order that you put in and the order is not filled for today, then the order will still be in the queue for a week and you do and you cannot use the money until you cancel the order. All right. So I like to put in some day order. All right. Because I want to know how the market move for today and whether or not I am able to buy the stock tomorrow. Right. I want access to the money so I can buy the stock tomorrow. All right. If it is that the, um, the stock or the order was not filled for today. All right. So after that, you, you press continue. And this now is a quick summary of your, um, your, your purchase. It's almost like a receipt. And they will send this to your, your email. All right. So as I can see, you have the MR account number, you have the JCN number. And the expiration date are just the expiration date are the date at which you execute the share. So the execution date. All right. So the order quantity was seven hundred and fourteen dollars. All right. The the order quantity was seven hundred and fourteen units. The order type was limit because I limit that and the the market up price. All right. So that is saying the highest price that I'm willing to buy at. Is forty two dollars. All right, so they will purchase for me below forty two dollars, forty two dollars and below, but they will not purchase above forty two dollars because that's the limit that I place on the order. So they are saying the optimum, the up, the estimated markup value is twenty nine thousand nine hundred and eighty eight dollars. All right, and the common, these are some fees that they will take out of the money. All right, so this is a JMMB commission, which is $149, call it $150. The JCSD fee, that's zero, so you do not pay any fee on that, but there's a CES fee of $196, and then you pay a GCT of $38. All right, so all of that add up to $30,281.30. Thirty cents. All right, so you need to have that in your account in order to process the transaction. All right, so I just go ahead and press continue. All right, so they're asking you for your PIN code now. So you just insert your PIN code and then you're through. Pin code. You need to remember your pin code there. The transaction will not go through. All right. And you need to write these things down on a piece of paper so you can make reference. All right. So I'm actually through. All right. So the transaction is actually through. All right. So this is a quick summary of what we just look at all right so the detail is a purchase i made a purchase of 714 shares of jmnd stock all right the requested amount was twenty nine thousand dollars and the charge was two hundred and ninety three thousand so it's a total of three hundred uh, thirty thousand two hundred and eighty one dollars all right and that's it that is how you actually use the jmnd stock at the jmnd money line to make a purchase 